Hey guys, this is Peter again here with a quick review of the uh, Reds custom holster here for my Ruger SR9C. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance if this is a little bit shaky. I'm uh, trying to do this with a digital camera. It's a lot better quality than my phone. And uh, trying to give you guys as much detail as possible. So uh, without further ado, the Reds custom holster here. I ordered this baby from Reds holster specifically. And uh, talked with Jeff personally several times, several times, 59 times to be exact. Uh, if I count the emails, and uh, to give this guy a you know a general idea of what I was looking for, what I wanted in a holster, and he came through. So, um, without further ado, here we go into the video review. Here, um, this is the Ruger SR9C version. Um, what can I say? It's a beautiful piece of holster. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with just the overall quality of the whole thing. Um, 100%. 100% no bullshit this is a good quality product um, I didn't know what to expect when I first found out about reds um, I was actually doing some browsing around on Instagram and I just looked around for hybrid holsters and voila there's uh, there's 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 Jeff's page um, but uh, after talking with the guy and actually doing some research on it this guy is the underdog there is a lot of people that need to know about this guy's products um, you know, there's nothing. I don't think if you if you ask this man to, to come up with something completely custom for you, you know, even if it's outside of what he would normally do, he would probably try. Um, I love just the overall customer service, and I love the product that he sent me. I'm going to go ahead and start talking about the specs here, the, the holster. First of all, to the eye, it looks like a general hybrid holster, and there's a few differences, um, a few custom things that he does, um, one of which is these Kydex clips. I think I've seen these on several other different uh, hybrid holsters, but these are pretty cool. Um, they actually have the J-type clip, which this part of the clip goes actually on your pants, and then you've got the extra little loop here for your for your belt if you need it. Um, that's really cool. Gives you the retention, gives you the the ability to be able to snap onto your pants and then be able to to loop your belt right through the top of this to give you that added that added retention. Um, dual clips, one on each side obviously duh and um, that's it for the clips we'll talk about the kydex here um, the kydex was great Jeff actually sent me a picture of the kydex before he attached it and it's awesome to see this much detail all the way down to the freaking serrations on the on the barrel here it's awesome um, or on the slide rather and the I mean I've never seen I don't even think Colster I actually have a Colster holster um, and I love Colster I love Jimmy's holsters but this Kydex jaw blows him away absolutely blows him away um, the the actual molding here and I'm gonna try and show you as much as I can that is beautiful that is every nook and every cranny he has he has went around this entire gun it fits like a freaking glove um, Colster is more like a, just a blob of, of, of kydex with the trigger invention like there's no there's no specific there's no dimension there's no uh, all the way down into the nooks and crannies here there's 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 molding it's beautiful beautiful work um i don't know how he does it uh, to get it that specific um it's probably something as simple as just standing on the stuff when it's hot but he does a great job um next part of the whole the ulster is the leather this leather i believe is the same same dimension as like a regular regular holster like a regular hybrid holster a regular regular holster i said um but uh same dimensions feels really good it's not cheap it's lightweight doesn't feel like it's going to be heavy or too thick um the back of the holster here um is a does have some texture to it not as bad i don't think as the colster holster the colster that i have is uh really rough on the back um, not so rough, you know, I'm not trying to, to diss on Jimmy here, but not as rough as the Colster holster. It still feels really good. It's smoothed out. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, we're going to go ahead and go into the custom work that he does. Um, I actually specifically requested him to put my name on the holster with some of this barbed wire that he's got wrapped around the side. Beautiful work. No crappy lettering actually really good and he's got this custom skull that I believe he does on just about every one of his holsters um, really great work uh, did this additional barbed wire uh, around the borders there for me just to kind of add on got the SR9C here on the side uh, beautiful beautiful lettering work 
Um, awesome. Didn't even really charge me that much extra for it. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Um, and it's definitely worth it. Um, but overall, the retention on this holster, and I'll show you that here in the, uh, well, no, we'll go ahead and get to it. Um, the retention on this holster out of the package was, wasn't bad. Wasn't bad at all personally and i think i actually requested it when i ordered the thing from uh from jeff i specifically said you know will you will you leave it tight you know i want it tight that's what she said i want it tight as as, as you can leave it you know because i'm gonna be wearing this thing as an outside the waistband holster um most of the time um and i'm gonna be um you know i want it to be tight i want it to be i don't want it to fall out i don't want to be able to to slightly pull it out i want it to be tight i want it in there um and he actually left it pretty tight but i wanted it tighter so i actually did a little bit of heat right on the trigger guard and i just pushed it down just kind of indention in there and it's perfect absolutely perfect no problems at all whatsoever um, if i didn't say it before and i may not have um, i specifically ordered this holster with the intention or with the directive of wanting to have an outside the waistband holster cross with an inside the waistband holster um, this i believe is the first one that he's made if i'm not mistaken um, if he has i think he said he made one other one for a friend uh, but i believe i'm the first one to actually get one of these uh, straight, straight from red's custom um, as an outside the waistband slash inside the waistband um, and all he's done is he's basically just cut out a hole on each side here for the for your belt to go and i'll talk about that more in the outside the waistband uh, presentation of the holster but uh overall great product i'm hoping that this this takes off for him i know he said he didn't hadn't had a lot of interest in it so far but this is an awesome idea to be able to have an outside the waistband holster like this and have it double as an inside the waistband holster if you need to it's durable it's a quality product, it's lightweight, and it's small. I don't know if you can really tell, but that is that is tiny. Um, pretty cool design. Um, got the same combat type cut on there, cut away all the leather you don't need. Uh, beautiful, beautiful product. And uh, I'm happy that Jeff you know, does this kind of stuff because there's not a lot of people out there that will take the time to really talk to you and individually personally email you and talk to you about what you want out of a holster and give you a, a slide by slide picture of everything that's going on at your request hey, this guy sent me pictures of the leather before he actually put all this on before he cut or dyed this leather he sent me a picture of it with the blue with the blue uh plastic gun on there how many times is crossbreed going to do that for you i'm not entirely sure that any custom product any any company would do that for you um this guy blew me away absolutely blew me away and i'm glad to to spend my money on on his product so with all that being said holster 100 percent buy this if you don't you're stupid moving on he actually sent me this cool little uh this cool little keychain here from elite wrist creations and i'm not sure if that's actually from elite wrist creations or if he actually made that but he sent me this cool business card for elite wrist creations i've seen these guys on instagram quite a bit um, and it looks like uh it's, his name is roger ledrick um, he's got his email address on here and i'll try and link him in the description of the video but uh, i've seen some cool stuff these guys do so check them out uh give them some business like i said Really cool little added bonus that he sent me. This really cool little paracord ring. And uh, I'm happy. It's awesome. Uh, not a lot of companies will do that either. But uh, here we go. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into the outside the waistband and the inside the waistband section of this holster. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye. Hey, guys. This is me again. Part two here. I want to go over real quick the outside the waistband performance of the Reds Custom Holster. Um, I'm wearing it right now, actually. Um, and I don't know if you can tell. Um, if it's that obvious or not, but I am wearing it on my right hip right now. Um, this holster is outside the waistband configuration right now. Um, it can be worn inside the waistband, just like I'll explain to you in the in, in the in the waistband portion of this video. Um, but overall, fantastic. Um, feels really good. Does not feel um, in the way like I kind of thought it would. I've never had one of these types of holsters before. Um, I contacted Jeff with the ex with the expectation. I said I want a really good outside the waistband holster, but I want a hybrid. I want something that's going to feel streamlined. I want it to feel good, and I want it to double as an inside the waistband if I need to. And this is what he made for me, so I'm very impressed. Feels really good. Doesn't feel in the way. 
Um, it actually conforms to the body really well. It feels good. It feels just like an extra tool on your belt. It doesn't feel bad at all. Um, the only thing that I will say, and it's in no way reflecting on the way that the holster is made or Reds themselves or Jeff, um, but it's just there's a little bit of play in the holster up and down as far as the belt is concerned. And that's absolutely nothing to say about the company. It's a great made holster. You would have to literally have these holes in this thing cut to 100% match your belt to be able to size that perfect. Um, so just me being nitpicky, personal preference. Overall, if I need this gun, it's coming out. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to slide around. This feels really good. I'm very impressed with it. Um, no complaints at all whatsoever. It conceals really well. Conceals this fatness that I got going here. But overall, feels really good. Don't have to worry about anything at all. If I need my gun to present it, it's right there. Retention is spot on. Um, that is the outside the waistband section of the video. And uh, coming right back at you here with the inside the waistband. Stay tuned. What's up guys, uh, part three here for the uh, Reds Custom Holster inside the waistband section. Um, again, I'm going to go ahead and do the, do the turn here, do the turn on my catwalk here. Um, inside the waistband holster, Reds, uh, Reds Custom Holsters here, and um, I just, just got through showing you the way the holster performs outside the waistband. Um, the particular one that I ordered was specifically for outside the waistband and inside the waistband to be able to do a hybrid of the two. Um, so this is the inside. This is the inside the waistband section. I'm gonna go ahead and let you see my my six pack again. But uh, this is the inside the waistband portion of the holster. Um, feels fantastic. Um, I'm not used to these types of Kydex clips, but they perform. They do what they're supposed to do. Um, it does give you that extra retention if you need it, and uh, doubles on the pants and doubles on the belt, so it has you something to hang on to if you need to pull up on this thing. Um, I use it, you know, like any other, any particular inside the waistband holster if I need to pull up my pants because this thing can weigh you down just a little bit throughout the day. If you need to pull up your pants, grab a hold of the gun right here, pull up. You got a perfect anchor on your pants. Feels really great inside the waistband. It's not rubbing. Uh, I've got a shirt on right now, which I usually wear a shirt um, underneath my holster when I'm carrying it. The back of this holster feels fantastic, which I'll, I'll, I'll show you in part one here. But um, overall, inside the waistband performance is does what it's supposed to do. Um, it is small. It's very lightweight. I can barely tell I'm wearing this thing. Um, all I have to say is crossbreed and colster, eat your heart out. You know, Colster, I love your holsters. Don't get me wrong, I love Jimmy's holsters, but for the same amount of money, I get custom work on the holster. I got one-on-one -on -one customer service with this guy, and if something happened to this holster or if something was going wrong with the workmanship of it, I don't think for one minute that I would have any trouble working with this gentleman. Uh, Jeff seems like an outstanding guy. Um, awesome, awesome product right here, awesome. Uh, no bullshit, not gonna beat around the bush. This is worth the money. From anywhere from 45 bucks on up, um, you can't get a better custom hybrid holster. This beats the shit out of anybody. This is awesome. Feels really good. Um, the retention is a little tighter, just a little tighter. Wearing it inside the waistband because you've got this extra belt pressure on it, just a little bit. But overall, deep concealment, still very, very concealable. No problem concealing it at all. And if I need to draw it, it's right there. Very concealable retention. It still snaps into place really well. Awesome, awesome holster. I kind of like the clips, the way everything kind of fits in here. It, it, it actually gives you a little bit of clip onto your belt. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. So with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close out here. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope that this brings some good attention or some much needed good attention to Jeff at Red's Custom Holsters. Um, the man is a genius. This is a great product. Um, he's definitely got something to compete against Colster and against Crossbreed and all these other holsters that are out there. He's got a competitive price. He's definitely got the customer service down and I'm with him 100%. If I ever need another holster, Jeff, buddy, I'm giving you a call. Thanks so much for this holster and thank you guys for watching. Next time.